In this video, I'll be showing you how to hide files of any file type inside a regular JPEG image, as many files as you want. Uh, if I double click this image, it says Secret Cow, and it's a picture of a cow. Just a regular picture. If I go to View, Thumbnails, it's still a picture of a cow. However, whoops. If I go to List, and here's the, here's the trick. If I go to 7Z Extract here, it shows me that I have several files inside this picture. And I use 7Z, but you can use WinZip, WinRAR, WinAce, or any type of compression software. I say 7Z zip because it's free, it's open source, and it's really small. It's like 800K. So how do I do this? First, I get the files I want to hide. Secret documents, private pictures, and hidden video. And a random picture of a cow. So... I can use any picture, it doesn't have to be of a cow, and I think it doesn't have to be a JPEG, it really doesn't matter. So the first thing I want to do is select the files I want to hide. They are selected, and I'm going to get, again use compression software. Use WinZip, WinRAR, or any type of context menu you have to add to archive. So I'm going to add this to archive, and I'm going to put it in the 7Z zip file because that's the default on 7Z zip. Okay, it's compressed, it's in the archive, and now I can delete these files because all these files are inside x.7z. So now the question is how do I merge these two? How do I put the compressed file and have it in the cow.jpg uh, so that when I double click the cow picture it doesn't give me an error? I'm going to go to start run or windows key R and it's going to give me the command line, uh, the run prompt, and I'm going to type cmd to get the command line. So here I am in the default folder, I'm going to go back a step by going cd backslash enter. Now I'm in the C drive, it's a lot easier if you just move these files to the C drive. Uh, my C drive is kind of cluttered, so I have it in a folder called x. So now I'm in a folder called x. So here's where it gets cool. Here's the magic code. I'm going to type copy slash b. That stands for binary copy. Uh, the image name, cow.jpg, plus the compressed file, x.7z, and the new file name, secretcow.jpg. And that's it. That's all the code that you need to type. Go ahead and click enter. Stop the video to copy this. One file copied. And I don't need the command line anymore. That's it. I can delete the original archive, the picture of the cow. <coughs> and now I just have secret cow. And again, if I go to any type of extracting software, click extract here. And I'll have the files that are inside. And that's it very simple trick. If you want to be paranoid, let me just go ahead and extract it again. If you want to be paranoid, what I suggest you do is archive the files, add to archive, compress it, take away the extension, add to archive again in a different type, like tar, something bizarre, and finally, then compress the archive and the image. But that's a little too far. <laughs> you could also delete the header. Go into your hex editor or something and delete the header. Maybe the first three bytes. Save it in a text file and compress it along with uh, the new x.tar. This has been a video tutorial by JimmyR.com. Check us out for more videos. Subscribe if you like us. <laughs>